this would have technically been their their senior night. It's the last home game of the regular season and shot. Smart move to pull it back up by lot. She didn't quite have the numbers on that. Well, you're right. Jim Flannery said she's going to get some open shots. She's got to knock them down. Talk about knocking them down. All six points for Van Clunen. Defense here so far. They've run it to single digits on the shot clock a couple of times. There's a quick hands here of lot. One of the better defenders in the Big East. In for the easy two. And Another pickpocket. Lot going to have a field day if Creighton's going to let her. Well, Lott has re-entered this game. Murata, the and one. She was calling for it and makes good on it. And they did a bit against DePaul, and it was very effectful. Here's Taylor again. A little mid-range shot. Two excellent. A 27-point game against DePaul and then earlier a 28-point game. And speaking of excellent, Van Clunen just adding to her tally. She's that elbow jumper, ribs out, and an offensive rebound. Put back with a little fist pump for Cameron Taylor. Ran, who's got a career-high five points here tonight, by the way. Pull up that time. There's that sweep. Van Clunen knocks down the with a phenomenal young coach in Megan Duffy, who's had a great success here at Marquette. Great. Oh. Hard take there for a lot. It's an and one injury. I think it's a combination of that and Marquette's stingy defense and outstanding. A ton of makeup that this Creighton Blue Jay team's going to have to do, but Murata and Marquette are not looking back. And they got to do it in front of some parents in the building. Marquette just within the last couple of weeks allowing fans. A season low for Creighton. The previous season low was 42.